This year for World Intellectual Property Day, our theme is Powering Change, Women in Innovation and Creativity. This is an exceptionally important theme, as I don't need really to underlie, uh, underline to you. All of the available statistics that we have indicate that the level of participation by women in innovation and creativity is suboptimal to say the least. The good news is that that has risen now to about one third, but the bad news is that that's still 17% below parity. Uh, now why do we have intellectual property? We have intellectual property in order to encourage innovation uh, and a creative uh, economy and society. Both innovation and creativity carry with them a number of benefits for in the improvement of our quality of life, for spurring economic growth, uh, and for addressing some of the radical challenges that require new solutions that we confront in the world, such as climate change, clean energies, uh, food security, and a myriad of other <coughs> challenges in the health field. Uh, in order to address those challenges, we need all of the resources of humanity. And having 17% deficit in the participation of women means that our performance uh, as humanity is much less than it should be. And the consequence, of course, is uh, that all of the benefits that flow from innovation and creativity are at a lower level than they should be. So the theme of encouraging a much greater participation of women in the innovation process and in creativity could not be a more important uh, theme for the world today. So I would call upon everyone in the world to ensure that at the level of policy, at the level of enterprises, uh, at the level of society, uh, we do everything we can to improve the participation of women and the opportunity for women uh, to participate in innovation and creativity. That will lead to enormous benefits for the world and much greater opportunity and fairness for women in this extremely important sector of innovation and creativity. Thank you very much.